Great Britain's first service quick-firing rifle calibre guns were the Gatling, Nordenfeldt and Gardner. The Maxim gun was then adopted at the same time as the new 303 Lee Metford magazine rifle. Two decades later, the Vickers improved Maxim became the regulation medium machine gun, brought into service in late 1912, all in time for the Great War. for more compact and portable machine guns saw the Belgian Lewis and French Hotchkiss introduced into British and Empire service during the Great War as roles changed. The Lewis gun was essentially an infantry weapon made by BSA under licence. It later saw second line and naval service during World War II. The 47 round pan drum used a special tubular tool for rotating the aluminium centre block However, this could be done with the palm of the hand in emergencies when extra men were needed to charge magazines. The 303 Hotchkiss Model 1909 portable machine guns was mostly issued to mounted units such as the Light Horse and it was imported from France. loomed in the late 1930s as a new light machine gun was developed at Enfield from the Czech ZB-26. The new Bren gun was made at Enfield and later by the Monotype Group as well as in Canada by Inglis and in Australia at Lithgow during World War II. The Bren was a favourite with the troops because of its reliability, ease of operation and quick change barrels. <laughs>
To answer Germany's MP3840, Britain imported 45 caliber Thompson submachine guns from the United States and urgently got the 9mm Lanchester machine carbine into production, although this was really a stopgap measure and most Lanchesters went to the Royal Navy and Air Force. A low-cost, ready-manufacture answer was the Sten gun, which progressed through six different marks and a few more variations by the end of the war. The Mark II model Sten was also made at Long Branch. Sterling machine carbines came into general service in Great Britain during the early 1950s and were issued on a smaller scale in the Commonwealth services. Developed at the end of the war as the Patchet, in the NATO era it became the 9mm L2A3, while a suppressed model was designated the L34A1. <laughs> After adoption of the FAL rifle as a 7.62mm NATO rifle, L1, Canada's C1, South Africa's R1 and India's 1A, some heavy barrel automatic models were made in Australia as the L2A1 and in Canada as a C2A1. These feature a 30 round magazine and folding bipod that served as a forend. South Africa produced automatic 7.62mm FN models Many were purchased by Rhodesia. The R1HB was a heavy barrel squad automatic weapon, while the R2 has a folding stock. Unfortunately, most were reportedly destroyed after the ANC came to power, as they considered the R1 rifle to be a symbol of apartheid. <laughs> The 
Bren gun continued service during the 7.62mm NATO era as a conversion, the L4A4, which was an updated Mark III Bren. The general purpose machine gun M60 incorporated features of the Johnson Model 1941 and German FG42. It was adopted by the United States in 1957. The M60 was bought by allies Britain, Australia, New Zealand and some European and East Asian countries. Colt Canada produces the new updated M16 as the C7 and carbine model as the C8. New generation 5.56mm and 7.62mm auto rifles and light machine guns, squad automatic weapons, are current NATO standards. The M249 is a US adaption of the FN Minimi. It went into US Army service in 1984 and with the Marines in 1985. In Canada and New Zealand, the Minimi is the C9. In Australia, the F89 and Britain, the L10. An appropriate finale, the M134 minigun is truly leader of the pack, with a cyclic rate of between 2,000 and 6,000 rounds per minute in 7.62mm NATO. It is usually governed at around 4,000 rounds. <laughs> 